Hello everyone. Uh, we will today do a timer example and we will also include Sysstick into the example as well. And the timers are going to run on interrupts and Sysstick is going to be done on polling. So let's see how that works. So the first things first, we just have to start up stm 32 qbda and I'll let you guys do it uh, and you can give a pause uh, on the video and start up stm 32 qbda and you have that interface, IOS interface is enabled in front of you. I'll wait until you do that. The first thing that you have to do in this uh, IOC file is, for my example, I have two LEDs external, so I have to set those up. And the first things that I should do, um, so I go here into a PC2 and PC3 buttons, and PC3 is going to be adjusted as a GPIO output, PC2 is also going to be a GPIO output, and my PA5 is also an internal uh, LED that's going to be shown on your board. Yours might be different, but I said as a GPIO output. So I have three outputs, two of these GPIO outputs are PC2 and PC3. They are going to be external LEDs uh, on, a, on a proto board. So I set up PC3 to be, um, by looking at my, my board, I set it up as a red LED. So I just type it as, as a LED, red LED. For PC2, I set it out as, as a green LED. And I'm gonna give a sign different um, usages for these green and uh, red LEDs. For port PA5, I don't touch that, it's just the same. And double check on my GPIO that these are actually defined in my GPIO file. In my SYS file, S SYS button, uh, I just make sure that the debugging is enabled with serial wire over here. Okay, so come back here. I change timer tree to be enabled. Okay, timer tree to be enabled as an internal clock. Now when I set that up, I have a configuration file coming up underneath here. The first thing that I want to do, of course, enable the timer tree for timer. Um, timer tree and VIX settings. The next thing that I want to do, I have to set up some parameters here. I need to set up a couple of parameters here. One is the counter mo counter period, and the other one is the prescaler value. So those the two values have to be set up by checking out the clock configuration. Now, from the clock configuration tab, you see that your system clock is 64 megahertz. When it is scaled a couple of times it becomes back to 64 megahertz again so if it's not so you just make your adjustments so that you have a clock like 64 megahertz if this is not possible this is still okay but you have to make your change your uh, calculations afterwards okay so for my case it's 64 megahertz uh, and this is how it works actually so we have 64 megahertz of frequency so t is equal to 1 over f what we actually do is we, we just divide this f to a frequency by a prescaler value so 64 megahertz divided by um, 6400 0, 0. that takes us into um, 1 0, 0 uh, k hertz um, no 10k 10 10k 10 hertz right 10k hertz for the f so t becomes 1 over 10 uh, milliseconds is the inverse of that so it's going to be 0 0.1 milliseconds now if i multiply this amount by 10000 t times count is the duration, is the delay. So I find I want my delay to be one second. If my t is equal to 0 0.1 millisecond, count becomes from here 10,000. So I found out my count value as well. So nice, uh, okay. So how about 0 0.5 seconds? Then this time my count is going to be 5000. 
So I just have to place these numbers into timer 3 and timer 4. I go back to my IOC file, IOC interface rather, and change those pinout configurations to include for timer 3 the prescale is 6400 and my count period is going to be 10,000. So I make that as a faster clock for the LED connection. I'm just going to make that connection with PC3 to be blinking um, actually uh, one second of delay. And timer 4 is going to be also clock is going to be internal and week is going to be enabled again and my parameters are going to be this time 6400 the same as before but my counter period is going to be 5000 okay that's going to run faster okay so and um, once this is set I double check again um, the NVIC I have to make sure that the interrupts here are enabled in the timers what else would I need um, so I guess I'm set here if I'm not missing anything I just uh, save this file and generate the code as a result so it takes a while to generate the code and put that into main.c and the other files are also modified according to your settings now there are a couple files that are quite critical um, in this left hand side of your file directory um, one of them is of course main.c and main.c let's go step by step and try to make sure that all the settings are, are well understood I'm setting up my timers at the top as you see over here I have also these initializations for the timer and the GPIO has to be started I have down here GPIO and the timers are um, actually that was the prototype at the top we are now using them down at, down here um, I'm gonna set up my code so that these are extra so you have to type these two lines to your code I have already done that this part so you should go ahead and write that into your user code as how thing base start IT and your relevant timers have to be there okay if you don't do that the timer doesn't start for some reason and I have I still haven't found a way around that maybe we will so let's just go ahead and include that those two lines to get our program running uh, I have um, a system tick operation that's going to take place so uh, I'm gonna make my system tick uh, occur at these intervals so I load a counter to that value and start up the system tick from zero I initialize my system tick to be five five means enable it no interrupt use system clock actually we're not using any interrupts here as you see no interrupts just enabling it so we'll be doing the polling inside the while statement so this is the part that I write uh, inside the while statement so I have a single if statement that checks on the control register of Cystic and if the control registers um, flag count flag is set that means you have reached uh, zero in the system counting operation so you're actually uh, you have accomplished your counting operation in Cystic if that happens then this tells the output uh, registers to have a, a bit flip due to this XOR operation on the internal LED so that LED is going to be flipped every time you have accomplished a timer counting operation has been performed so this takes care of the cystic in a polling manner so we just keep on checking on the cystic so as an assignment why don't you go ahead and do this using interrupts so the cystic can also be using interrupts and that can also be this can also be handled in the interrupt as well so I did this as a, a change 
and because we have already we are already working with the timers as you see we have a couple files down here timer 4 and timer 3 up here and just makes those adjustments in the uh, timer setting mechanisms which is says sets the period sets the prescaler set, sets the counter mode and so forth those are already taken care of now one thing that is missing is what happens when the timer 3 or timer 4 is completed and that is the part that is taken care of in the file stm32fit.c so in that file I have a timer interrupt section timer 3 IRQ handler timer 4 IRQ handler these all take me to the same file same function which is ultim IRQ handler so let's just go in there by pressing F3 okay it opens up a whole C file which actually uh, does that so mm -hmm. ultim IRQ handler is responsible for uh, taking care of that operation of uh, what to do when the timer expires so in this file in this whole timer file we're checking on a function called a callback so when your period elapsed let me just show you over here halt in period elapsed callback is the function that actually does what the user wants to do so we just find this function within that part just calls that function let me try to find it again in the, in the source code yeah it's right here somewhere here in that file you will see that function um, definition however it doesn't have anything inside so it's just a weak function as you see up here so what you have to do is you have to copy this function into your main code just let me just copy it put that into my main code where do I put it I put it into this user code begin user code end part so this is where it resides I remove the weak attribute from it so that it is actually run weak doesn't run if there is an actual function declared so this is going to run uh, so what it says is if um, timer 3 which is a one second clock is activated I would like uh, the LED uh, red LED pin to be working so I just uh, change them here and if timer 4 which is the um, 0 0.5 seconds delay is working I just change that to be a green uh, it was a capital letter I guess green pin working so I have these all set up these two lines so depending on the timer instances I either execute this line or execute that line and get back to my call uh, calling function after this is performed now I'm finished I just save it once again perfect um, and then build my code hopefully with no errors takes a while okay it is finished I run the code and see how that output looks like so I'll just try to show you the output how that looks like so as you see I have two LEDs uh, one is not blinking at all the red pin the green pin is actually working the timer tree seems to be not working so I probably have made a mistake so I just get back to my code and double check my values on timer tree I have a problem with timer tree obviously so parameters my prescaler is not 
uh, setup here so for some reason it is not written 6400 I just changed that so that was a good exercise for me to get back and correct some stuff and let's see if that fixes the problem of running the code correctly okay still waiting for the debugger to finish okay there you go so I have the red LED if you can see it it's just blinking in one second I have the green LED is has a slower uh, has a faster pace so, so on my device I actually have this I can see the cystic actually blinking quite fast so that is a counter actually that is being um, uh, that that has been working quite fast but I can change that by adjusting the the counter so that's about it uh, thanks for listening talk to you later bye bye